All right, hi, and welcome to more Genshin Impact. Uh, I completely forgot that this event existed. As you can see, I have five hours and 19 minutes remaining. It is currently 11.40 p.m. for me. So this is what we're doing now. Aphid Treasure Trace. My bad. I got distracted. Let's get it done. Hello, Shilonen. Hey, Shilonen. Didn't expect to see you here. Hey there, Traveler, Paimon. What, is it so weird to see me at my own home? Well, no, but Paimon thought you'd have found a beautiful tree to get a few days shut-eye in by now since we just solved such a big problem. I'd love to, but everyone's been busy with the reconstruction. Oh, I haven't finished the Argon quest, so I assume they're talking about things I haven't done yet. It'd feel wrong to slack off at a time like this. So this is where you've decided to contribute? Here, let me show you something. Wow, what a pretty jewel. Oh, those are pretty. Looks very valuable. Yeah, but that's not all. This is a phlogiston honey pearl with peculiar patterning that's been making the rounds recently in the market. They're usually produced by phlogiston aphids. Pretty common, really. But these oddly patterned ones are both novel and scarce, making them quite expensive. Paimon gets it. That's just like how we love treasure chests that have awesome looking patterns on them, too. So I bought a few for my collection, and guess what? After a few days, the potted plant I was raising nearby had withered. I didn't think much of it at first. I mean, I don't know the first thing about growing plants anyway. Later, however, I heard Kachina say that some people got sick. Most of them were customers of Shevin's gemstone shop. Even Shevin herself proved no exception. Oh, wait... Did it all have something to do with his gem then? I thought so too. And so I smashed one open and discovered that it contained some abyssal energy. Low concentration, of course, and isolated by the outer shell of the honey pearl itself, which made it almost undetectable. What about the victims though? How are they doing now? No need to worry. The low concentration resulted in rather minor maladies with most being sleepy or being prone to exhaustion. It hasn't had any effect on the more fit, like myself or Kachina. Whew. And here Paimon thought this might be a sticky situation. Wow. Wow. Sticky? Like the honey in honey pearls? I bet Paimon was thinking sticky like slimes instead. <laughs> you know it, and fortunately for us, this problem's only a threat to ordinary people, just like slimes. You two really understand one another. We totally do, still. We have met lots of people scared stiff by slimes, so it's not like we can ignore it just because it isn't dangerous for us, right? Exactly. I already explained the situation to our chief and asked him to collect and destroy all the strange honey pearls on the market. But we still need to attack this issue at the source. My sentiments exactly. Like I said, phlogiston honey pearls are produced by phlogiston aphids. If anything is the source of the problem, it'll be them. I went to look for Kniech, since he's got the better head for investigating between us. Yesterday, he sent word that he found aphids with abyssal contamination. There are also traces of their presence near the scions of the canopy and the people of the springs. Right, and Kinich also notified Mulani. However, they're not exactly gemstone enthusiasts, so the problem didn't affect them as much. Huh. Looks like there are all sorts of lingering abyss-related issues, huh? Guess we've got to be patient. How do you plan to deal with the aphids? Catch him first. We can still purify this level of abyssal contamination. We shouldn't need to harm the aphids. Kenich has marked out places where they gather, and I'm heading to a spot near our tribe. 
Would you like to come along, by the way? A little bug catching sounds like fun, doesn't it? I'd have invited Kachina, but unfortunately she's already occupied. I'm down. Glad to have you. Would have been a boring trip otherwise. Let's head off then. Go to where the abyssal aphids were spotted. I will do the rest of the uh, Archon quest eventually. It's just the first half was so long. And then Metaphor came out and it's just, it's been a time. It's been a time. <laughs> This is our spot. See that? An aphid polluted with the power of the abyss. Way larger than any normal one ever gets. Whoa, what a huge aphid. Um, is it dangerous? Relax. Even though it's been contaminated by the abyss, its behavior doesn't seem to have changed at all. Still, I've specially prepared an extra large insect net to make sure everything goes smoothly. Here you go. It'll come in handy for catching them in a moment. Oh, right. By the way, can each mention something rather unusual? He discovered that there's a special berry that always grows near areas where abyssal aphids are found. The berry contains a toxin that can paralyze the aphids. So if we spread them on the nets, it'll stop the aphids from struggling. Uh, why are aphids living around a berry that paralyzes them? Seems kind of strange to Paimon. Yeah, I mean, you can't control the nature that grows around you. It just, it happens. I think so too. First time I've heard of animals living alongside something that's dangerous to them. It's totally unnatural. Wait, could someone be behind them getting infected with the abyss? Paimon's are on high alert these days. Hey, even the dumbest guides grow up. Do they? And Paimon was never dumb to start with anyway. The only problem with that is that we searched everywhere, but didn't find any trace of human involvement. So let's just chalk it up to some unknown natural aphid behavior for now. Fine, but no matter what, we've got to catch them first. We don't want anything else that makes people sick running around. Bugbuster Squad, move out. Okay. Um, abyss corroded phlogiston aphids will be protected by special wards that, before they break, will prevent your attacks from depleting abyssal power. Once its ward is broken, the aphid will be stunned, and while the ward is broken, each attack by a character can deplete a specific amount of abyssal power. Night soul aligned attacks or higher frequency attacks can deplete abyssal power more quickly. Deploying Shilonin's insect net within its effective range can greatly damage a ward and trap aphids. Characters' attacks can damage their wards, and Night Soul aligned attacks can do so more effectively. The insect net needs to charge up before being used. Collect shackleberries to charge the net and restore some phlogiston. The challenges will contain shackleberry plants and objects that contain these berries. Defeating certain opponents will also grant a small amount of shackleberries. Um, if aphids corrupted by abyssal power are attacked, they will flee to the next zone after a period of time. If their wards have been broken, abyss corroded phlogiston aphids will immediately flee to the next zone once they recover from their stunned state. There is a fixed upper limit to the amount of abyssal power that can be depleted each time the ward is broken. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend like I know what any of that meant. I think this is just a, uh, we do it and we find out. Trial character is Shilonin. Sure. Am I playing as Shilonin? I guess I am. Collect shackleberries to charge the insect net. When the abyss corroded phlogiston aphid is nearby, using the insect net will greatly harm the ward. Okay. Bring it. 
Like, how do you... Okay. I think I'm... No, I'm not full. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Um. Settle down. Okay. It it left. It abandoned us. So I'm just using a trial Shilunin. They took away my Shilunin. Man, I don't like this layout. I'm so used to Yaimiko being at the bottom. I'm going to be clicking the wrong things. It's, it's uh... I need more berries. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't, I don't need those. Where, where, like, is it, though? I hear it, but I don't see it. Hello? Oh, it's all the way down here. Bow your head. Come on. The tides beckon. Dude, this takes so long to lower the shield of. So long. Like disgustingly right. long. Unshielded for very long. Ow. A sight to behold. Settle down. Stop it. Die. Please die. Oh my god. There it goes. Back over there, huh? This thing is bulky for no reason. You mean the bears? Capture in 210. Dang. So I already failed. Because this takes so freaking long. Let the mighty be humble. Why is it taking so long to break its stupid shield? Oh my god. That was annoying. We did it. Though this bugger certainly looks big, it was pretty easy to catch. No, it wasn't. It was so annoying. It's not dangerous at all, other than the fact that it likes to run away. The insect nut and numbing berries were really useful too. I'm gonna switch to Arlequino. And maybe Arlequino can catch this stupid thing faster. But seeing as that it's the abyss these aphids are contaminated with, they could attract monsters. Best to be on your guard. Yeah, you're right. And since these all too convenient berries just happen to be here, well, if it was Paimon, she'd steer clear of any enemies. Being around berries like this isn't normal or natural, Storm. We should keep our eyes peeled. There's something really fishy going on for sure. You certainly look like an expert on suspicious goings on. Paimon learned it from you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming out here with me. We've taken care of one area, so it's about time for a nice little break. After all, I'll need you to help over the next few days too. 
Okay, I need to do this over again, probably. Yeah, complete within 210 seconds. Okay. Give me a different team. This is gonna get rid of Yalon. That's fine. That's fine. I need to get these stupid things as fast as possible. Okay. on the move. Go. I don't want to see your... Stop getting stuck. Okay. All the way over here. I need more berries. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Where is this thing? Bring it! Okay. It's- it's leaving me. Alright. I wanna get these... other berries. I want to do this time thing. There we go. Okay. Goodbye. Now we know. Use our Lakino. Lesson learned. Nivea needs too much setup for this. Okay, go catch. Oh, um, this is probably the closest teleporter. Do, do, do. I'm going the wrong direction. I'm okay. Okay, where exactly? Oh, I see it. It's over there. All right. <laughs> Fight me. This one gives me Kanich. Uh. <laughs> I don't. I think I like his way of getting around, though. Maybe I do. Maybe those berries. I'm still missing some? I'm not full? Where the heck are there more berries? All the way over there? That's annoying. Where the heck did they go? I guess they just immediately went in to me, somehow. Okay. 
Okay, well, we might lose this. I died? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Excellent. This event, I feel like I don't understand what I'm doing. Like, I get that it wants to do Night Soul, blah, 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 but I haven't actually used any of my Natland characters. So. So. I don't really know how their kits work. I don't know how anything about them works. I'm still building them. Building a character takes time. Now I like to use characters until they're like completed. Like they have their artifacts, they have their weapon, they have their talents, whatever. 